Hello everyone and welcome to Cobian History. Today we are going to have a look at the origins of the word Monday. And this will be the first episode of a series on the origins of the days of the week. According to the international standard, Monday is the first day of the week, so that's where we're starting. Although not every country follows the international standard. In America, for example, the first day of the week is Sunday, and both interpretations make sense. The Monday first interpretation is newer. As the world moved into the modern era, and the specific days for work and rest were more defined, the people saw sense in the weekend being at the end of the week. On the other hand, Sunday had been the first day of the week for a very long time, all throughout the Middle Ages and even going back as far as ancient Greece. And that's where we're starting today. The ancient Greek named the days of the week after the planets in the sky. Selinis Hemera was the ancient Greek name for Monday, and it means day of the moon. It was named after Selene, and she was the goddess of the moon. A few centuries later and the Romans came around. They liked the idea of the Greek gods, so they took their idea and they gave their own Latin names to the gods. They liked how the Greek named the days of the week as well. So they took that idea and they translated it into Latin. This is called the loan translation. This is a saying in one language that is literally translated to another. So in Latin, day of the moon became dies lunae. So at a certain moment, the Romans came into contact with the Germanic people and they took a loan translation from the Romans. So in Proto-Germanic, day of the moon became something along the lines of Maninis Dagas. And it's from this that the Germanic languages evolved. Proto-Germanic would later split into East Germanic and Northwest Germanic. Northwest Germanic would then split into Proto-West Germanic, from which these languages evolved, and North Germanic, from which the Old Norse language evolved. The Old Norse, Monadager, would form the root of the word Monday in the Nordic languages. But one we're interested in is the Old Saxon, Manindag. Even though Old English isn't directly descendant from Old Saxon, it is most closely related, together with the Old Frisian, Monadi. Some of the people in this region migrated to England, so then we got the Old English, Monandai and Mondai. Rome had been gone for quite a while now, and Latin, which was spoken throughout the empire, had now diversed into different languages. One of these was French and the Latin dies lunae had now become lundi. Another language that evolved from Latin was Bretonic. This was the language that was spoken in Britain before the Anglo-Saxons arrived. Welsh is one of the surviving descendants of this language, so that's why Welsh is also a descendant of Latin. And Irish is as well. Even though the Romans never conquered Ireland, the people who first settled Ireland were from Latin-speaking descent. So now back to English. William the Conqueror was from Normandy in France. So when he came to the throne of England, French had a little influence on the English language. So Monandai became Munandi. And then Monday. So you can hear it on the end. You got more that E sound from Landy. And this is also where Scots split from Middle English. So a few more centuries went by and that's how we come to Monday. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more you can subscribe to my channel to get notified when the next episode comes out and for any other videos I make. And let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, bye.